Hello and welcome back to KD's Business Tips. Michael Lapid here talking to you about the small business seduction. In the last video, we talked about it being a small business rate, a lower tax rate for corporations that are Canadian and controlled and private. CCPC, we call them Canadian Controlled Private Corporations. Up to 500,000 net, you're paying a very low tax rate. Now again, we mentioned that that is on active income only. So what if you have a specified investment business where you are running a lot of passive income? And the bottom line is here, most times you're not going to get that small business deduction unless you become a big enough business that with all that investing and everything you're doing, you have well over five employees. So five and a half, maybe five full-time, a part-time, maybe you're one of them, but five and a half to six people minimum working in the business turns that passive income into an active income qualifying for that small business deduction. And that's based on court cases. The other thing is you might be a personal services business. A personal services business, which we'll talk about in another series or another video, is basically where you have a corporation and you are contracting to another com company, but that's the only company you're contracting to. You just set up a corporation just so you could contract to that one company. And if it weren't for the existence of that corporation, you'd probably just be an employee. That is a personal service business. The tax rates are through the roof and you definitely don't qualify for the small business deduction. One last thing we want to talk about on the small business deduction is what's called associated corporations. If corporations are associated by ownership, which means they have the same, same controlling partners or same controlling family members that are immediate family members, those corporations are considered associated and therefore they will share the small business deduction up to 500,000 net. So it's 500,000 net between all of the corporations, not just one. If you have any questions on this small business deduction, we'd love to hear from you. Post in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.